Uh, ow, ow, ow! What happened? Uh, I got... Oh, uh, nothing happened. Troy's being a wimp. Dad, I'm not in the mood. And you are that, Troy? Your dad ran over my foot with his golf cart. There I was, breakdancing to Johnny Gill, and your dad whooshes over my foot. Oh, well, that's the crime of the century. It might be if you ran over his foot on purpose. It was. I feel victimized, babe. Kiss me to make it all better? Okay, we're not doing that. N no, I didn't do it on purpose. If I wanted to hurt Troy, I would have taken him to a G-U-N range, and I would make it look like an accident. We all know I would have gotten away with it. That's a really... Are you kidding me, Dad? <sighs> Look, he's a big softy. I'm not sure what you see in him. You could have someone as strong as your father, but you choose to confine yourself with an idiot. Yeah, cause he's the idiot right now. Scratch that, he'll always be an idiot. Laura, he ran over my foot on purpose. I'm gonna sue him and he'll pay for it. <laughs> I didn't. He needs to get a life. Huh. Okay then, call them. He's turning me into the villain here. I'm the one who feels victimized. It, call who, Troy? The golf club receptionist. She saw the whole thing. She claimed to have it on camera if I want to press charges. Honey, he's telling you a barefaced lie. I'm starting to think he's not the kind of man I want you to be dating. Dad, I believe you're lying to me. And if I find one scratch of evidence, you are... Call the receptionist. And on a side note, could you ask her if she liked me? Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, you might decide to take your dad's side on the argument, and I might need a new girl. I'm thinking ahead, babe. Dad, I'll give you one chance to come clean. If you're lying to me, there'll be dire consequences. Tell me the truth. I did nothing to him. Come on, Troy. We need to look up the name of that golf club, and then we might call them and find out the truth. You'll be making a mistake. <sighs> So... So she's saying her boss wiped an hour off of the system, so there's no evidence of anything of what happened. Why would somebody wipe off... Jesus. <sighs> okay, thank you for your help. We had to stop at the gas station on the way over here. And did my dad go to the bathroom? Yeah, he did. He's sneaky. And very good at his job. I could learn a lot from him. There's a lot of things I want to get away with concerning you. A lot. A lot. I think he made a call to one of his buddies to have the camera wiped. Hey, what's with the looks? I'm whistling here. Be happy for me. Dad, the security cameras were wiped. Did you get someone to do it? Honey, Troy started to be a bad influence on you. You should dump him so I can find you a list of men who love you so much better. Look, did you or didn't you do it? And is that list available, like, right now? There's no crime to window shopping. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking, babe. You know how fragile I am. No, I didn't do it. This chat is over. I bet. I know you'd have someone to call if you needed something white. Oh, really? You're delusional, honey. It, it would help you if you stopped this train. Right here. You don't want to end up like him. Dad, give me your phone. What? Please, give me your phone. I want to see the last two people you've called. I'm not giving you anything. You're being erratic for absolutely no good reason. Is she? I can never tell with her. Could you teach me a lesson on how to recognize that? I'd pay you top dollar. Troy, keep your trap shut. You've done too much damage already. Dad, give me your phone. Or there'll be consequences. I don't care. I'm not doing that. Fine. Then we won't come to your work event tonight. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no. I'd rethink that. My whole career progression lies in me making a good impression tonight. Sorry, Dad. We won't come. It's him! He's wormed himself into your brain and now he's turning your rational thoughts into a drug haze. I'm sorry, Dad. We won't come unless you admit the truth to us right now. Please don't. I'm enjoying the scared look on your face. <laughs> it's a delight.
<laughs> I will not admit to anything because I did nothing wrong. Okay. If that's how you want to play it, then fine. Hun, if you don't come, I'll suspend your mortgage payments. Is that what you want? Would you really do that to your only child? In a heartbeat. If she's willing to wreck everything I've built up for us. Fine. Then do it. Come on, Troy. We need to pick up our stuff. Honey, come on, sweetheart. Alright, look, I, um, I want to apologize. Cool. We're all ears. Start by going on your knees. We'd also like to see those tears when you're apologizing. And a poem couldn't hurt, too. Use eloquent words. I don't know what eloquent means, but use them anyway. Anyway, I, I'd never want to make you homeless. Aw, oh, thank you. That's so heartwarming. I wasn't talking to you. Dad! All right, all right, look, I've, I've had a rough day. I overheard some mean things said about me, and I took it out on him. And for that, I want to apologize to you wholeheartedly. You're forgiven. Now two kisses on the cheeks, and I love you again. I was apologizing to my daughter. Dad, you're being horrible to him again. Well, I, I can't help it. He's crap on my shoes. You know what? I don't accept your apology. It's intended as an insult to my man, and I don't for a second think you mean it. Mm, you're right. I don't. Well, we'll be here for one more hour. You have until then to apologize, or we leave. Make the right choice, Dad. Ooh, damn, this chick is turning me on. I'm not apologizing about anything. It's your dick of a boyfriend who should be apologizing to me. Uh, for what, exactly? For saying mean things to me. Like what? I'm a saint. Babe, I feel even more victimized. I want to take up that option of suing your dad. You know what you said, dick. I don't think I do. <laughs> you do. Hun, I promise you, I don't know what he's on about. Um, he's probably got like dementia or something and we should look up homes for him. I think it's vital. Relax. I believe you. Oh, don't tell me you're taking his side. Well, maybe if you told me your side of the story, I could decide if I should take yours. <laughs> yeah, like you'd believe me. She wouldn't because you're lying. You should be ashamed of yourself. Are you lying, Dad? Just tell me the truth. Honey, let's not waste our time. Oh, he's old. I'm going to have to put him in a care home for his birthday. <laughs> <sighs> oh shit. Whew, I'm starving. Can I make you something? Troy, did you call my dad old? Nope. But I do think his brain is fading. You know what you said. Troy, did you say that to my dad? Babe, look, we've got a long 20 mile drive. Maybe we should get a head start on it, you know, so we can finish that Hamilton mixtape you like so much? And, honey, I looked at the handbag you wanted for your birthday, and I want to buy it for you. Dad, none of you are getting my forgiveness. That being said, Troy, you will be singing along to that mixtape, and Dad, get that handbag in brown. <sighs> Babe, I'm sorry. Troy, my dad is a healthy man. He isn't old. That said, my mom says he can't stand while peeing, so maybe I'm wrong. And also, he has a large belly. I'm just saying. Do you see what type of man you're dating? He doesn't deserve you. I do deserve her. And I rock her world in bed. I think. I do a lot of cool things. I'm just not able to keep track of them. Not only did he say the old thing, but at the bar, he was also flirting with the barmaid. And I know for a fact if I weren't there, he would have slept with her. <laughs> Come on now, that's just plain stupid. I would have never slept with her. Saying that, did I have a shot with her? Because I'd race back to her and throw my love all up in her face. And that sounded very wrong of me to say. Ah! What? She was attractive. Way more than you. <laughs> I lied about the flirting thing. I was messing with you, but... Now that we know you have a lingering eye, she can leave you. It's a good day. GDT. 
I do not. Huh. More lies, sweetie. It's as good as an excuse you'll get to dump him. We've got him, baby. We got him. High five. Look, even if I did lie, I'm not the only one who flirts. Laura does it too. <laughs> that is absurd. Walmart? Last week? Well, yeah, I do it too. There's this guy in Walmart who has impressive arms. It's true. I asked to touch it and he swore at me. His boss wasn't happy. I'm talking like magic mic standards. Sorry, I may need to take a brief pause on this and go daydream about him. Um, anyway. Just, just a second. I'm picturing him naked. Oh, baby. You do. Woohoo! Right there. Uh, hello. I'm your living boyfriend. <sighs> and that daydream is gone. Ugh. Look, in my defense, he wasn't meant to hear my trash talk. And actually, that doesn't sound like much of a shield either. Shit. Look, I'm gonna let you two kids solve your issues between you. My mind needs to focus on something else. I, I'm not talking to him. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. He has to apologize for running over my foot first. If you two don't work out your issues, Dad, I won't go to the event with you. Ha <laughs> ha. And Troy, you'll be sleeping on the sofa for the foreseeable future. How is that a punishment? I never like sleeping with you. You kick me when I have night terrors. Are we on the same page? Yeah, yeah, Great! Now talk through your shit. I'm ready to apologize when you're willing to apologize for running over my foot. The day I apologize will be the day all hell freezes over, or my hair grows back. Do hairs on bald people do that? <laughs> I learned something new today. I'm glad to see it. Actually, wait, you had hair? <laughs> That's shocking. How many people did you scare with it? No. My hair and I were the best chumps the Santiago and Peralta of the real world. Are they CIA colleagues? The characters from your favorite show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, that's not my favorite show. I think I'm a bit too mature for comedy. No, I like SpongeBob SquarePants. That fits me way more. Huh. I would say that's a strange choice, but nothing you say is ever a shock to me anymore. Yeah, I get strange from being with your daughter. My daughter is not strange. <laughs> Yes, she is. She's also really annoying. I always think she has a stick up her. Hey, you better watch it, buddy. That's my only child. That said, I've also used similar words to talk trash about her. Ooh, should we say it to her face? <laughs> and watch her kill you? Wait, I do want that. Yeah, yeah, say it to her. Please. Ha ha. What? I want you dead, and since I'm not in the position to do it, I'd rather like my daughter to take up that role. You're kidding, so I'll ignore you. Oh, I never joke. Especially about killing you. It's ever-present in my mind. Where's mine? Do you even drink alcohol? No, but I'd still like to be offered it. It's called having manners, David. Not that I have any to begin with, that being said. Are you two working out your problems? Yes, but I think your dad's trying to glare me to death. I'm gonna dance for him to stop that. Do you know any provocative dance moves? Do not dare do that. <sighs> it's fine. He doesn't want me to dance. I'm just gonna freestyle the baby shark song in his face. I think he'll like that. Oh God, look, why don't we both just apologize? and have this over and done with. Great, you start, so I can film it with my new stolen phone. Stolen? That's mine, hand it back. It was on a side table, how do you know it's yours? Have a guess. Is it mind control? Jesus, it's my freaking house. <sighs> Look, let's just get this apology out the way in one, three, five. Where the hell are you counting to? Uh, I don't know. What's the question again? Let's just do it at the same time, and I will count. Great, let's try that. We'll count down from three. 
One, oh. Oh, oh, great. Now I'm stupider than you are. Let's just do it. I'm so... Blah, blah. What are you doing? I'm apologizing. I do it with blah, blah, because it's the trademark for my apologies. How are you so dopey? Truth being known, mm, I needed one. I do a lot of stupid things. <laughs> oh boy, a lot. Well, uh, apologies don't start with blah, blah. Try saying I'm sorry. You've apologized to me. I think we're done here. Laura, we're done. No, no, no. That was a practice apology. I didn't mean it. You still said it, and I forgive you, Davy. Let's roll with it by singing the Baby Shark song. Oh, dear Lord. Now, how does it go? Is it a heavy metal song? Huh. Yeah, ready the voice, Troy. Troy, we have to do this right. <sighs> Look, I'd love to, but... Nah. There's thunder. Let the rain dry. <sighs> no, that's not how the song goes. Mmm... I'll figure it out later. All right, cheerio. Troy, get back here. No, oh, you're a dummy. Yeah, like insulting you would have any impact on your behavior. <laughs> Dad, Troy's just told me how you apologize to each other and I'm proud of you both. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he's lying. He didn't apologize to me. What? Get your mouth away from me, Troy. But I did, babe. I need your kisses. Or else I'll have a stroke. Do you think this is just one big joke? <laughs> yeah, a little. Don't you? I thought we were a couple who shared the same sense of humor. You said we were. Well, it isn't funny. And my sense of humor is now only shared with the, the Walmart guy. Uh, he gets me wholeheartedly. Can it just be a little funny? <laughs> Will you behave yourself? You know, you're just like a child sometimes. Ooh, you're turning me on by disciplining me. Ravish me, my love. Mmm, Marnie Stewart. Does that name ring any bells? Oh, yeah, she's your best friend who's always hitting on me. Huh, that bitch. It's a good thing I know you can kick my ass or I'll jump at the chance to be with her. <laughs> Ugh. Dad, do you remember her? Uh, yeah. She used to hit on me too when she was a teenager. Uh, I wasn't too fond of her. Why are you staring far into the ceiling? Well, because I've realized she just had a boob job and I don't want you to see me turned on. Oh, Let's God. all be mature about it. Look, Marnie introduced her now husband to her dad at this office party a few years ago. She's married. Damn. I was looking for a sly way to make my moves on her. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Uh, you're married too. Although mm. Laura's always said not happily because you're a jerk. Excuse me? No, wait. I thought you were a jerk. She said something, uh, something, but, uh, eh, I don't know. Can't be bothered to remember. <laughs> what? Eh, it's probably lame. We do know her after all. Am I right, David? Say another word. I dare you. Hmm. This story needs a car chase. I can already see myself going into a coma. Oh, and there's a yawn approaching. Oh my gosh. Whew. Hey, I was right. <laughs> oh, well, I never knew there would be a day where I was right. That's so freaking cool. I'm so cool now. Anyway, the boyfriend at the party got drunk and went on to puke in her dad's office. Why does this tell relevant to our story? Her dad spent the next 12 years hating him. And while he was on his deathbed, he still wouldn't forgive Marnie's husband. I still don't know why this is relevant. It's relevant because Laura thinks what we both did today will make us hate each other for a lifetime. Oh... Then I guess it will. Anything for you, baby. No, Troy. <sighs> She's scared I might think of you as Marnie's boyfriend. And I can't risk that. You, 
two idiots mean way too much to me. How did I succumb to admitting that to you? Ugh, you're both just jerks. I want to say that I can't risk that too, but I don't feel it like you do, Laura. You dummies will work out your shit, or I'll be driving home early and by myself. And miss my work event? Yep, get talking, jerks. Damn, she's mean. She must get that skill base from you. You're King Mean, Davy, The meanest of the mean clan. <laughs> and I've never been more proud of her. Alright, listen. My event is in two hours and Laura's threatening to go home in ten minutes. Uh, unless we sort this out. I'm ready to hear your apology. Just get on your knees and beg for my forgiveness while you're saying it. Uh, Fine, you don't have to get on your knees, but you do have to beg for forgiveness. You are. Now look here, David. I won't accept anything less. I just won't. I am not. Hit me with that good stuff, Daddy-o. I, all right. I shouldn't have run over your foot. That, that was stupid, and I'm... Ugh, sorry. Good. Now let's hug it out like bitches. What? <laughs> they say it in the movies. You know, the ones where I'm too scared to watch just in case it gives me nightmares in bed. And why am I not surprised by that? And I wet the bed. I mean, I didn't just say that. <sighs> Come on, just hug me. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <sighs> okay, jeez. Not fun at all. Have you got something to say to me, boy? Um, yeah. Laura and I have had sex in this house about 12 times in the last four visits. You did what? How do I admit that to you without you being uptight about it? I am waiting for your apology, Troy. Oh, then I should say I feel like I could use this situation to my advantage. How so? Well, you're on a tight deadline, and I need you to loosen some strings for me. Don't push my buttons, Troy. First, I want to sleep in the same bed as my girlfriend, and I want to see your patented Bible for sex. Like, I want it right now. You will not sleep with my daughter in this house out of wedlock, and that special Bible is called the Karma Sutra. Ooh, I'm ordering that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get freaky in this house. With your permission, of course, Davy. Are we done here? Uh, I'm a vegan, and I'd like you to not cook meat when Laura and I visit here. No. Hmm. Okay, this isn't going well. But I'll apologize to you if you say yes to this. <laughs> I haven't got the patience for this. In the future, I want to marry Laura, so I'm going to need your permission to do that. Right now. Oh, I will. Just... You'll let me marry her. You're going to let me marry her. <laughs> wow. Who would have guessed that? I would want to marry Laura. Hmm. You think I'll let you marry my daughter? Well, duh. Let's finalize the deal with a manly Russian hug. Like two strong men. You listen to me, you ignorant piece of shit. There's no way in hell where I would ever let you be part of this family. Oh my god. You mean it and you're angry too? You are a waste of space. If you need air, I'd watch and let you die without a moment's hesitation while having a big smile on my happy face. <laughs> okay, that's a little rude. I've been the perfect person to you today. I am not finished. You are the last person I'd ever want to marry my daughter. <laughs> I just think this rudeness is uncalled for. Has that gone through your Dense, fucked up head. Yeah. Yeah, it has. So, is everything sorted? Yeah, it's about to be. Uh, David, I'm sorry for talking trash about you behind your back. It wasn't my aim to hurt your feelings, and for that, I'm truly sorry. Seriously, why do you look like you're about to cry? <laughs> no reason, babe. Um, I think I'll get an Uber back home. You should go to the event with your dad tonight. Uh... He's really going to need you. Dad, why is he crying? I don't know. 
If you said something to him, I promise I will. I didn't. I promise you. Honey, please, just reconsider coming. Oh, don't. Whatever. I won't be home when you get back. What do you mean? Of course you will. Why wouldn't you? Uh, decided to go see my sister in L.A. Without speaking to me first? Yeah, um, anyway, I, I should go. Okay, stay right where you are. Dad, what did you say to him? Nothing. Look, the event starts in an hour. We should leave if we want to beat traffic. Vamos, vamos. He said nothing. I just realized I'll never enjoy the life I imagined we'd have together. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's making you come to this conclusion now? I mean, I firmly believe it too, but something must have happened. <laughs> Why don't you guess what happened? No. I, I didn't say whatever choice tried to insinuate I did. Oh, really? So... What did you say? I agreed to let you two sleep in the same bed when you're here. And? And not eat meat when you're here too. And? That was it. Fine. Don't admit to what you said. I hope you two live a happy life together. Troy, wait! Dad, what happened? What happened is I'm never going to be good enough for your dad to accept me. <sighs> and... I agreed. Ugh. I agreed to give Troy permission to marry you if ever he should want to. Oh. And he said nothing else, Troy? No, I didn't. I wasn't asking you. Yep, he said he said nothing else. Okay, good. Dad, I brought two tuxedos for Troy. I'm not too sure which one is the right fit. Would you please help him choose? Certainly. Uh, with pleasure. Hmm. Huh. Wow. That looks perfect on you. Thank you. I feel like James Bond. All I need now is a gun so I can shoot people dead. I'm mainly talking about you, David. Oh, alright. Listen, I want to apologize for what I said back there. Of course, I... I'd be welcome to you marrying my daughter. Really? Because you looked serious. I'm not sure I should trust you. Well, she's always smiling around you. Yeah, well, I do make her happy. How do I stop that? I meant she laughs at you. Uh, you know what? That doesn't matter too much. I believe I can make her happy. <clears throat> and, uh, well, <clears throat> you know, I, I think the more time that we spend together... The more I'll get a sense of it, I, I hope. I'm not hedging bets on it. Cool. Then I look forward to more quality time with you, Davy. <laughs> oh, that sounds so weird. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Hmm. Then I'll make sure to say it to you at the event so people can laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> You know, if you take things so seriously, you'll have a heart attack. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the advice. It would help if you lightened up. You're too much of a dick. I mean, how do you live in that persona without hitting your head against a wall? So, do you want to hang out more? Yeah. You're not that bad. Thank you. Okay, that's decided. I'm spending the rest of my life irritating you so we can have moments like this. <laughs> and does that mean I'm in the circle of love? Not yet. But you have started the race. Stay on the track and you might get in a position where you'll be able to get in. Ooh. Can I not have to work for it, though? <laughs> but until you are in, you're on probation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened? Your dad tried to kill me. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that was too easy. And hey, you look gorgeous, by the way, babe. You look lovely. <laughs> we got you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh.
So your dad's boss likes me and your dad wants me to join him for a lunch next week with his boss. Isn't that a good thing? Hell no. Your dad's taking up my necessary video gaming time. How do I kill our relationship, babe? Please, tell me how. Okay, so you're going to that meetup. Could you go instead? And let you off the hook? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Honey, the most boring people on the planet. All they talk about is work. I kind of like the thought of you two, like, together. Oh, even more by the second. <sighs> Fine, I'll call him and say I have a work thing. No, you'll get your ass there. Look, you want to form a connection with him, right? Yeah, but... So, you have to put in the time. <sighs> Fine, I'll go. But I am never proposing to you. I think I can live with that. I'll be richer than you anyway. And I don't want to force you to get a prenup while carrying your bastard child. Ha ha. Oh, you can laugh, but you're signing that thing. <laughs> Jesus, you're not kidding. No, I'm not. You're signing it. And then I'll shack up with a uh, Walmart guy. At least we'd have that bastard child. <laughs> <laughs>